Number 18. What current flows through the bulb of a 3-volt flashlight when its hot resistance is 3.6 ohms? So a problem like this is going to be now fairly straightforward. Let's just write down what we know and what we don't know. We don't know the current. That's what we're going to solve for. We do know the potential difference, aka the voltage, right? They told us it's going to be 3 volts. They also told us the resistance, which is known as capital R, and that's going to be 3.60 and that's measured in the unit of ohms. What we then want to do is we then want to consider, do we know any relationship between IV and R, meaning current, voltage, and resistance? And you will be doing enough practice here where it's like, oh my god, yeah, ohm's law, right? Ohm's law, okay? The current will be equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. You might also see it as, and I like to actually memorize it this way, I like to memorize it as v -er. V is equal to IR. It's just reworked. They're both the same thing. They're just algebraically manipulated. Um, this one would be better here because it's already solved for current. Um, but, you know, in terms of my mind, it's just, you know, I had to memorize all these things at once upon a time. And uh, that's just was easier for me. Anyway, so all we got to simply do, remember, make sure everything's in the right units, which they are. Volts on the top, ohms on the bottom, and literally just plug it on in. If only the exams were this easy, right? The beginning practice problem should be. You want to definitely get your you know, feet wet here a little bit and just kind of see how the equations generally work, but they're going to get a little tougher. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.